Hi. Hello again. Welcome to GRTC videos, your daily supply of solutions to engineering problems. If you want, if you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe sa YouTube channel namin, no? And please hit the bell icon so that you will be notified every time meron kaming bagong videos. All right. In this video, we will discuss uh, fluid, meka uh, no, fluid mechanics. Uh, fluid mechanics. No, most of the videos I uploaded were concentrated sa design. Okay? So, discuss tayo ng fluid mechanics. Actually, mechanics din talaga to, no? So, rotating vessel. Dynamics uh, sa ating uh, mechanics na subject. Okay? So, uh, this is a very common board exam question. So, pinakita namin to. Ito yung mga videos namin na maaasahan nyo during our uh, ano, uh, online review. No? Kaya sa online review, meron kami mga principles behind. Paano kung maaari derive yung formula, we do that. So, dito mga example na lang to. Okay? So, here in this problem, we will discuss open cylindrical tank and then more than half full of liquid. Any liquid. It doesn't matter. No? So, water, oil, uh, glycerin, whatever liquid is that. Either heavier or lighter than water, pwede siya. And it is related about its vertical axis. Okay? So, ito yung ating problem. An open cylindrical tank, 1.2 meters in diameter and 2.4 meters tall, contains 1.8 meters deep of water. The tank is revolved about its own vertical axis at uniform angular speed omega. Uniform angular speed omega. Okay, if omega is 70 RPM, how deep is the water at the center of the tank? By the way, uh, uh, i-compare natin yung classroom instruction tsaka yung online like this. Ang kagandahan nito, mabilis talaga siya. No? Yung 10 minutes natin dito sa video, kung sa online classroom ito, nagdodraw pa yung teacher, I, ano niya pa, no? eh, matagal talaga. No? Matagal talaga. Siguro yung mga ta times 3. So yung 1 hour video na natin dito, times 2 or times 3. Yung 1 hour video sa online o sa classroom orientation yan, nasa, ano yan, nasa mga 2 or 3 hours. Dahil sa delay ng drawing. Dito you can screenshot if you want. Then yung copying time wala na. No? And then, ang kagadahan, pwede yung ulitin. Ha? Ang ano lang talaga, ang adjustment lang talaga is sa classroom at sa online. Yun. Uh, we are, hindi, alam namin na hindi kayo sanay lahat. And then maraming nagtatanong, Sir, pwede ba tayong mag, ano, pwede ba tayong mag, why not use Zoom sa online classes ninyo? Well, okay, we, 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 th we thought about it. No? Actually, we tried it already, but not everyone has a reliable signal. So what if kung that time na nag-Zoom live kayo, wala kang signal, Eh, naka-enroll ka sa online, patay ka. Yun ang problema dyan. Assuming lang talaga, kahit sa ang bansa, kahit sa, kahit sa Manila nga na mo problema. Kahit bisang kami, eh paano kung naputol yung, na, nag-zoom kami, tapos naputol yung signal namin, hindi reliable. Ha? Kaya the best talaga is sa uh, Facebook and then i-load yung videos. So, kaya nang gagawin gaga namin sa aming uh, tawa dyan, sa online class namin. Anyway, tuloy tayo. So, the tank is revolved about its axis at a uniform speed omega. So, una, if omega is 70 RPM, how deep is the water the water at the center? Or baka tanong dyan, what is the pressure at the center bottom of the tank? Pwede rin. Okay? Ay, kadawa, ay, uh, pangalawa, what maximum angular speed omega can be imposed on the tank without spilling any liquid? Without spilling any water? Third, if omega is 100, how much water is spilled? Fourth, if omega, what omega will just zero the depth of water at the center? And the third, if omega is 120 RPM, how much water is left in the tank? Okay. Sige. So, uh, i-discuss muna natin yung principle. Okay? So, we have here a rotating vessel, more than half full. Huh? More than half full, rotated about its own vertical axis. Ito, ito. Okay? So, what will happen once we rotate that? Tinan nyo, ha? 
kapag mabagal yung rotation, ha, the surface will assume the shape of a paraboloid of revolution. Either, immediately, yan, uh, yung yellow yan represents the speed of rotation. Para ma-imagine nyo, ayan, o, oh, may ikot siya. Kung mabagal lang yan, it will look like that. Paraboloid of revolution yan. Na? Kapag binilisan natin yung rotation niya, na? gaganon yan. Okay? Now, ito yung equation natin. The height of the paraboloid, of the parabola, okay, y, is given by this equation. y equals omega squared x squared over 2g, where x is the radius of the parabola. Now, take note, this formula does not only apply for the point on the rim. Na? Hindi lang yan ma-apply sa point na ito. Baka iniisip nyo, for that lang. Anywhere in your parabola, okay, halimbawa, this point, i-consider mo, itong point na yan. Kung baga, kung yan yung gagamitin mo, ito yung x mo. Yan yung x mo, ito yung y. Ha? So, this will be your x and this will be your y. So, ganun yan. No? The same equation ang gagamitin mo. Ha? The same equation ang gagamitin mo for that. So, it can be applied anywhere. Kasi equation yan ng parabola. In other words, may hint na lang sa iba. Kapag ba kung nakuha mo na yan for the same omega, Kunin mo na lang yung k. Gawin mong y equals kx squared. Yung k mo is omega squared over 2g. Then you can up, now apply that equation anywhere in your parabola. You don't need to do any more squared property of parabola. Yun yung ano dyan, technique. Pwede ka lang hindi gumamit. I know most of students hindi, hindi sanay sa ganon. Ha? So, pwede nyo gamitin yan. That is for the same omega. Kumbaga, yung k mo is omega squared over 2g. Pwede mong gawin ito. So, y equals kx squared na lang yung equation ng parabola mo. Okay? Okay, next. Kapag binilisan pa natin yan. By, by the way, by the way, explain ko pa. Na-notice nyo, kung ito yung height ng parabola, this is y over 2, y over 2. Palagi yan. Alam nyo bakit? Kasi yung volume ng paraboloid of revolution, pag kinumpit po itong volume ng paraboloid of revolution, the formula of that is 1 half pi x squared y. 1 half pi x squared y. Or that is, you can think of it as 1 half the volume of the circumscribing cylinder. Pag pinasok mo yung paraboloid sa cylindrical tank, circular cylindrical tank, 1 half nung volume ng cylinder, yun yung volume ng paraboloid of revolution. Isipin nyo to. Think of this cylinder. The radius is r, the height is h. If the tank is rotated such that the, the paraboloid uh, base reaches the top, okay, ito yung paraboloid, the vortex is at the bottom, the volume of this paraboloid is 1 half pi h, pi r squared h. 1 half pi r squared h. Now, kapag in-stop mo yung rota rotation, well, of course, kung yung, by the way, kung yung volume ng paraboloid is 1 half ng cylinder, yung volume na natira doon sa tank, 1 half din ng cylinder. So obviously, kapag common sense no, will tell us, kapag hininto natin yung revolution, hininto yung, hininto yung level, kalahati ng H. Di ba? Nakuha nyo? Kalahati ng H yung pag-stop niya. So that shows na putting it in this uh, side, so kung ano yung iaakyat niya, yun din yung ibababa niya from the original level. Pero take note, kung cylindrical tap, e eh, paano kung conical yung tap? Da, of course, this will not hold true. It will not hold true. Na? I hope ilisip nyo yan. Eh kung silindrika, kung conical yung tank mo, hindi na yan ganun. Ha? Ibang equation na. Ha? Okay. So, I hope na intindihan nyo. Okay. Na kapag binilisan pa natin yung ikot niya, no? Okay. Aapot yung base dito sa taas. Ayan. So, ganun pa rin. For as long as walang natapon na tubig, for as long as walang na walang na spill, excuse ha, i-delete natin mo na. For as long as walang na spill na water, this if this is the original level, palagi yan, y over 2. So in other words, kung yung tanong is maximum angular speed without uh, without spilling any water, iset mo yung y over 2 doon sa void space na nasa taas. Makukuha mo na yung y. Nakuha nyo. Ha? Now, kapag bidilisan pa natin yung ikot. Okay? So of course, what will happen to this? Well, it, not, it will not move beyond that. Kasi wala nang wall dyan. May spill na siya. Correct? Kapag binilisan mo pa, gagano na yan. The base will stick on top. 
yung Y mo, hahaba na nga haba, the same pa rin yung X mo. No? Kasi mag-increase yung K mo, mag-increase yung omega squared over G. With the same value of X, lalaki yung value of Y mo. Pero yung, ano, yung some of the water will now be spilled. Oh, may matatapon na. Kuha nyo? Oh, may matatapon na na liquid. Okay, so yan, increasing the speed of rotation. Okay, now, uh, well, of course, you may ask me, Sir, paano makompute yung natapon na natapon na tubig? Okay, very simple. Ito, logic lang. Diba, makukuha mo man tong volume ng paraboloid. Makukuha mo to. Kasi 1 half pi x squared y. Yun yung volume. And that's the volume of air inside the tank. Natural, kung may natapon, dadami yung volume of air. To get the volume spill, ididak mo yung volume of air no, during this period to the original volume of air before rotation. Itong, itong, ito, ito, bago pa siya umikot. Kasi initially, meron siyang volume of air. Diba? Natural, kung, may, kung wala pa na spill, the volume of air in the tank will remain the same. Obviously, water is incompressible. Ha? So kapag bilisan natin, okay. So wala pang nala, wala pang natapon diyan, the volume of air in the tank remain the same as initial. Ito, ganun pa rin. Kung may natapon na, lalaki yung volume of air. The difference of the new volume of air to the original volume of air, yun yung volume spill. Did you get that? Ha? So much better if you compute the volume of air. Na kapag bilisan pa natin yung ikot Okay? The base will remain there forever kasi wala nang wall. No? Anything beyond that will be spilled out. Kapag binilisan pa natin yung ikot, aabot na yung vortex doon sa ilalim. O, mabilis yung ikot. Tila nyo. Di transition. No? From that to that. Ayan, binilisan natin yung ikot. Okay, so yung y mo tsaka x, ganun pa rin yung equation mo. This will not change. So your uh, equation ng parabola, natural yung omega mo, nag-change na siya. Pero yung equation niya, ganun pa rin. Masilinder ba yung tank mo or kahit anong shape, this equation is always based kasi ito sa centrifugal force. Na? Okay. So, pag binilisan pa natin yung ikot. Okay. So, what will happen? Uh, well, and of course, the paraboloid will go beyond. Pero baka isipin nyo, mabubutas yung tank. Hindi mabubutas yung tank, of course. Magkakaroon ka ng imaginary parabola sa ilalim. Imaginary, you can see that. There will be an open, parang yung panahon ni Moses, no? yung nag-open yung ilalim. Kikita mo na yung ilalim. Subukan yung palanggana, ikutin nyo, shallow. No? Makikita nyo na yung nasa ilalim. Ganun na yan. But the height of the paraboloid, ideally, versus x, ito pa rin yung equation niya. Okay? So yun yung ating principle dito sa rotating vessel. Cylindrical, open. Iba naman yung close. Kapag less than half pole, that will be different. But the equation will remain the same. Da? So again, i-review natin. Da? Okay? So the height of the paraboloid, as long as cylindrical yung vessel rotated about its own axis, before any liquid spill, da? the original level of the parabola, of the, the original water level, will always be bisected. Will always bisect the height of the parabola. The simple reason behind that is that because the volume of the parabola of revolution is one half the volume of the uh, circumscribing cylinder. Ayun yung reason niya. Okay. Now, increasing further the rotation will have its base reach the top. Okay. So, yeah. So, wala pa rin natapon na liquid. Kaya, this will remain. If this is Y, this will bisect the parabola. Y over 2, Y over 2. Kaya, to solve for the rotation na walang mga tatapon, we set your y over 2 equals the void space. Okay? And then, increasing further the rotation, may matatapon na. To compute the volume spill, you subtract the final volume of air inside the tank during this rotation. I-subtract mo the, i-bawas mo yung initial volume of air. Natural, may natapon na. Ang pumalit sa kanya is air. Uh, so the final volume of air minus the initial volume of air before rotation, yun yung amount of water spilled out. Okay? Decreasing further the rotation, dyan pa rin yung base, aabot na yung vortex doon sa ilalim. Dalam pa rin yung equation natin. Okay? Decreasing further the rotation, there will be an imaginary paraboloid sa ilalim. Okay? Now, medyo humaba na yung video natin. We are in the 15 minute mark. Okay? Uh, uh, 50 minute mark Ipopost ko muna yung
Okay, ipopost ko ba na yung video natin? Post ba natin yung video? Uh, we will continue this in part 2. We will, in part 2, we will solve the problem. But okay, ito yung catch dyan. If you think na kaya nyo nang masolve yan, uh, you try. Na? You will see the solution in our uh, part 2 of our video. Okay? So again, thank you so much for watching. We will continue this problem in part 2. So please don't forget to subscribe to our uh, uh, YouTube channel. This is free. Na? Free ito. So uh, I hope you learned a lot from this video and don't forget to subscribe and click the hit uh, hit the bell icon para ma-updated kayo palagi. Okay? So thank you so much.